Season 12's Mind the Gap starts with SpongeBob working dutifully at the Krusty Krab. Squidward is constantly annoyed by our little yellow friend and hatches a scheme to get some peace. Squidward tells SpongeBob that he is worried about his health, specifically the gaff in his teeth, as it can make it hard to breathe. Now in the end, fortunately for SpongeBob, the gap is mended, and everything changes because of it. But let's head back to this scene, as it's hiding a mistake. During this shot, as SpongeBob freaks out about the gap in his teeth, we see him slide by a customer in the Krusty Krab. And if you look closely, both of his eyes turn yellow for about a single frame. They literally, in the next frame, go back to white, and everything's fine. But yeah, looks kind of weird. Here's a clip. It's the gap between your teeth. My gap? I have a gap? What's wrong with my gap? Gap! <laughs> a gap that big between your teeth can be extremely dangerous. You can get something caught in it. <laughs> Moving from season 12 to season 2, our next mistake can be found in the season 2 episode, Dying for Pie. In this episode, it is Employee Brotherhood Day at the Krusty Krab, requiring all workers to give gifts to their co-workers. Well, Squidward thinks that he gave Spongebob an explosive pie to eat as a gift, and decides to spend time with Spongebob while he is still alive, in an attempt to make his last day memorable. He does a bunch of nonsensical activities with Spongebob, only to realize by the end of the day that Spongebob never actually ate the explosive pie, but reveals to Squidward that he was actually saving it so they could share it. From here, the episode ends with a bang, quite literally. But let's head back over to this scene for another mistake. When Mr. Krabs informs Squidward of his terrible mistake, they run back into the Krusty Krab. And if you look at Squidward's face, something's up with like his nose and his teeth, it's just a really weird frame. So, yeah. Here's a clip with audio. Like, look at how weird that looks. A bomb in the Krusty Krab! That's where you left it. It's not there. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for the pie, Squidward. La, 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 la. When Plankton turns everybody in Bikini Bottom from nice to naughty in the episode It's a Spongebob Christmas, things are looking pretty grim. But fortunately for Bikini Bottom, Spongebob comes along to save the day. It's one of my personal favorites from season 8 and serves as a great holiday special. But as you can guess, it isn't perfect. During the various scenes showing Spongebob inside Sandy's tree dome, our favorite little sponge is missing something. That's right, Spongebob's underwater helmet is missing, which is a huge error, as Spongebob literally will die in the tree dome without it. So, yeah. La 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 and who is that I see underneath her Christmas tree? Oh Christmas, oh Christmas, it's sweet! Mystery! I'll mix a dash of Christmas cheer with the candy cane! In the episode, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2, Spongebob wins a conch shell that can summon, well, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in emergencies. However, as you can imagine, because it's freaking Spongebob, he abuses this privilege, consistently calling the superheroes to help with everyday tasks. So they eventually let Spongebob join them on their daily patrol. Now in the end, Spongebob actually saves the iconic superhero duo from their longtime rival, the Dirty Bubble. But if we rewind to an earlier point in the episode, I found a subtle mistake. For about one frame or so, Spongebob's superhero headband is randomly covering his eyes. Again, this only happens for one frame and then goes back to normal, so it's definitely a mistake. Jingle bells, mermaid man smells, barnacle boy laying on egg. The invisible boat mobile lost a wheel and... Hey, can I drive? Drive? What do you know about... About driving the invisible boat mobile? Tons! Like the windshield wipers are right here. Don't touch that button, it's the... <laughs> or a... Gummy button. In the episode Fungus Among Us, SpongeBob becomes infected by an itch causing fungus that's disgusting. When at the Krusty Krab, his disease gets on the Krabby Patties and fries, even more disgusting, resulting in him being sent home to self isolate. 
How fitting, seeing as we're just coming out of a pandemic anyways, though. Now, at one point during SpongeBob's quarantine, he asks himself where Gary is. And during this quick shot of SpongeBob, the side sections of his belt seem to be missing before reappearing in the very next shot. A small but clear mistake by the art team. Here's a clip. You wanna go home? You are home, SpongeBob. You just need to stay in this bubble until the ick clears up. Where's my snail? Gary! We've taken care of your pet. Gary? Whoa! After Squidward gets himself electrocuted on a security fence that he built to keep SpongeBob and Patrick out in the episode Breath of Fresh Squidward, he transforms into a new squid, acting nice suddenly, being nice to everyone around him, including SpongeBob. Believe it or not, Squidward becomes so joyful that even SpongeBob starts to get annoyed with him. Now, the end of this episode is actually pretty unexpected, so let's avoid spoilers and head over to the mistake. During this scene, where SpongeBob and Patrick return Squidward home, he pops his head out of the window, and for about a frame, his iconic forehead wrinkles are missing. Here's a clip. Good night, Squidward! Hey, Patrick. Did you notice something different about Squidward? Uh, new glasses? No, no, I mean, he seems happier. Good night, Bikini Bottom! I love you! He's probably happy about his new glasses. In the episode tragically titled Goodbye Krabby Patty, Mr. Krabs gets the new idea for store-bought frozen Krabby Patties. But this eventually leads to the Krusty Krab closing down due to it not being needed anymore. Now, as you can imagine, SpongeBob's love for Krabby Patties helps him save the day by the ending of the episode, and things go back to how they used to be. But if we watch during this scene, where Mr. Krabs shows SpongeBob the Krusty Museum, there is a small mistake, as the chum bucket, which should be across the street, is completely missing, despite being seen in previous episodes. Here's a clip. This is my Curses foiled again. Our first mistake is hidden in the season 10 episode, Burst Your Bubble. In this episode, SpongeBob is tired of his poor driving skills, so he creates something revolutionary, a bubble boat. A boat that's made out of, well, bubbles. Well, it isn't long before SpongeBob's creation becomes a massive hit, with everyone in Bikini Bottom wanting a bubble boat for themselves. Heck, they become so popular that Mrs. Puff gets fired and her boating school is changed into a school specifically for bubble boats, ran by SpongeBob. Now in the end, bubble boats are banned from Bikini Bottom by the cops. But let's go back to this scene for a mistake. I know you missed it. As a very excited SpongeBob tells Gary about his new creation, he jumps into the air, and for about a frame, his eyes turn yellow. It looks really weird, the same yellow as his spongy body. Here's a clip. <laughs> you don't need a license to drive a bubble. Hmm, I suppose you're right. Carry on, citizen. You'll never believe it! I was out driving all day! Yes! When SpongeBob and Patrick get bored of all modern day Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy shows or movies, they decide to travel back in time just to see the superhero duo's first ever adventure in the episode Super Sitters. Well, they go back a bit too far, all the way back to when Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were babies, like complete infants, and due to the daycare worker needing a break, SpongeBob and Patrick are actually put in charge of keeping an eye on the baby superhero duo along with all of the other super babies. Now the mistake in question can be found at the end of the episode, when SpongeBob and Patrick get kicked out, as when Go Woman runs across the screen, she turns purple for a few seconds, the same purple as her bow tie. Here's a clip. It means you've completely undone all my hard work trying to teach these kids to get along! <laughs> You're welcome.
In the episode Good Neighbors, SpongeBob and Patrick are back to their old ways, constantly disturbing Squidward. But today isn't just any old day, it's Sunday, Squidward's day off, with them even having a pedicure scheduled later on in the day. Well, eventually, SpongeBob and Patrick make things even worse by convincing a couple that Squidward is supposedly sick, resulting in him going to the hospital and missing his pedicure. He was really excited for that. Well, in response to this, Squidward sets up a new security system in his home. Just, this ends up biting him in the butt later on when it comes to life and attacks Bikini Bottom. But let's stop the plot summary and go back over to this scene for the mistake. It can be found when Squidward hears SpongeBob's alarm clock go off. As you can see, the path to Squidward's house is missing in this close-up shot, despite being visible in the zoomed out shot seconds prior. You did overlook one teensy little detail, however. What's that, Squidward? It's Sunday! <laughs> Our good neighbor doesn't... ...bother me on Sunday! Sunday? No wonder Squidward's grumpy. In the episode Pineapple RV, Squidward is extremely excited to use his RV and go to Perpoise Peak to see the warbling water lily. However, this is all completely ruined by his best friends, SpongeBob and Patrick, with Patrick actually causing his RV, Squidward's RV, to get crushed by a giant anchor. Now, as much as this may suck, don't worry, as SpongeBob actually converts his pineapple home into a pineapple RV, hence the name of the title. And it actually makes for a really good plot, with us seeing Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick go on quite the adventure. It's quite the road trip, but we're here for mistakes, so let's get to the mistakes. During this scene, where Squidward gets literally sucked through his chair due to the impact, there's a brief frame where his hand changes to the same shade as brown as the chair. It only happens for about a frame, and it's right before he gets sucked through. Here's a clip. We gotta get off this road! No problem! In the episode Evil Spatula, Plankton sabotages SpongeBob's favorite spatula so that it breaks the next time he uses it. Now, anyone else would just move on and get like a new spatula, but this really upsets SpongeBob. Well, eventually, SpongeBob moves on and gets this new high tech spatula. However, there's something up with it. This thing was made by Plankton and is designed to ultimately steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. Now, Plankton gets close, but don't worry, Mr. Krabs catches on and saves the day, thus ending the episode. But if we go back a few scenes to this scene, there's actually a mistake. Just as SpongeBob drops the spatula and the litter box, something happens with his mouth. It like just disappears. It looks very odd. Here's a clip with audio. Infiltration complete. Time to execute phase five. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a joyful being, Sizzle Master. Here's that litter box you said you'd clean. Yeah, Karen! I thought I told you not to put smell sensors on the spatula. The plot of the episode, Larry the floor manager, is pretty interesting. Larry, everyone's favorite jock, takes on the role of temporary manager of the Krusty Krab, after Mr. Krabs takes a vacation. This does not go very well though, due to Larry being a fitness freak, with him doing ridiculous things, like replacing Krabby Patties for protein power shakes. Yeah, Larry definitely takes things too far. And by the end of the episode, he gets some payback when SpongeBob and a bunch of hungry Krusty Krab customers attack him. It's pretty wild, but onto the mistake. During this scene, where SpongeBob is delivering protein shakes to customers and drops one, uh, this fish's eyes just turns yellow, like the same color as the protein shake. 
thus making for a clear mistake. SpongeBob! Squidward! Let's move it, boys! Get those power shakes out and those heart rates up! <laughs> In season two, episode 15, Grandma's Kisses, SpongeBob is excited to see his grandma at first, but quickly becomes embarrassed when customers at the Krusty Krab roast him and make fun of him just for wanting attention and love from his grandmother. It's pretty messed up. So because of this, Patrick and SpongeBob make a big decision and become adults. They grow up. This doesn't go very well though as SpongeBob begins to crave his grandmother's affection. And in the end, he gives in. But if we rewind back to this scene, we can spot a mistake that I know you missed. At the beginning of the episode, when SpongeBob says, tell me another story about when I was a baby, well, his eyelashes are missing. It isn't that big of a deal, but yeah. And then we go all the way home with all the windows down and freezing cold. Tell me another story about when I was was a baby. Oh, three o'clock! The episode, I Smell a Pat, is all about Patrick, trying to film a new episode of The Patrick Show. However, things don't go as planned when a weird and gross smell begins to distract Patrick. From here, the episode focuses on Patrick and Squidina, searching far and wide to find what disgusting smell is distracting them. And by the end of the episode, they're successful. But let's go back to this scene for a sneaky goof. As Squidina and Patrick walk through their house, there is a quick frame where Squidina's eyes change to the same color as her body. It happens fast, so keep your eyes peeled. Delicious! This nose must be on the f Well, Patrick finds another nose. Enjoy this educational classic. After waking up with a hangover from a party in the episode The Donut of Shame, Patrick accidentally takes SpongeBob's donut, and this results in him becoming overwhelmed with guilt. Now, this episode is fairly short, and not much happens, with it eventually being revealed that the donut was actually gifted to Patrick by SpongeBob. However, if we keep our eyes peeled throughout the episode, we can spot a cheeky little mistake. When Patrick imagines SpongeBob walking and stepping on the donut under the rug, SpongeBob's nose turns white for a split second. It looks incredibly weird, so I have no idea how the animators missed this one. Here's a clip. Another season 3 favorite of mine is the episode Just One Bite. In this episode, Spongebob learns something that he just cannot accept, and that's that Squidward, his best friend lol, doesn't like Krabby Patties. Tragic, right? Well, this absolutely crushes Spongebob, but little does he know that it's a complete con, and by the end of the episode, we learn the truth. Our favorite Squid loves, and I mean, Squidward really, really loves Krabby Patties. I mean, I can't blame him. They do look pretty good. Leave a comment, would you eat a Krabby Patty if you could? Anyways though, onto the mistake. During this scene, where Squidward throws a Krabby Patty on the ground, there is a single frame where his iconic wrinkles on his forehead just disappear. They come back. Yeah, this isn't that big of a mistake, but it's a mistake. It has ever been my displeasure to have slither down my throat, <laughs> and I curse this Krabby Patty. And all who enjoy them to an early and well deserved grave! In the winter themed episode, Snowball Effect, SpongeBob and Patrick have a snowball fight and try to get Squidward to join in on the action. Squidward thinks that snowball fights are childish and are for kids. But as you can imagine, by the end of the episode, he finds himself in the middle of an epic, 
a very epic snowball war with his neighbors. Now this episode is great, and I like that despite it being winter themed, it isn't necessarily Christmas themed. Sometimes it's fun to just play around in the snow. Anyways though, the mistaken question can be found during this part of the episode. As Squidward looks out his window, his arms are like a greenish brown. It looks really weird, look at that. Now it's worth mentioning that Squidward does wear a brown long sleeve shirt in this episode, but I mean, look at this. The shirt just literally blends into his arms and becomes a part of his arms. It looks awful. Here's a clip. Nothing wrong with getting a front row seat, I suppose. <laughs> What's this? What? I... No! Oh! What are you doing? You're supposed to be knocking each other's brains Our favorite squirrel, Sandy, is feeling a little homesick in the season one episode, Texas. So she decides to return back home, leaving her close friends very depressed and sad. Now, fortunately for SpongeBob and Patrick, she eventually realizes that she is better off in Bikini Bottom by the ending of the episode and decides to stay with her sea creature friends instead, making for a touching moment. Before all this happens though, there's a scene where Spongebob and Patrick walk around in a circle, and if you look closely at Spongebob's mouth, it seems the animators messed up, as Spongebob is seen with two bottom lines It looks really weird. Here's a clip. So we shouldn't say anything bad about Texas! I'm warning you, Spongebob! Look, Patrick, I'm Texas. Hey, howdy, y'all. I'm Texas, howdy, too. Howdy, y'all. Get a dog, little uh, honey. Get howdy, a dog. Howdy, y'all. Squidward becomes frustrated with SpongeBob and the episode Squidward after SpongeBob makes a puppet version of Squidward that everyone at Bikini Bottom likes a whole lot more. Now, the mistakes in this episode are fairly small, so I'm going to keep this section short. But if we head over to this scene, we can spot a mistake, as the animators incorrectly colored Puppet Squidward's sleeve as brown, when it should obviously be the same color as Squidward's skin. So, yeah. SpongeBob can play with me, you! So, you'll be filling in for me when SpongeBob wants to play one of his stupid games? Yeah? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Our next mistake comes from the season one episode, Pickles. In this classic episode, SpongeBob forgets how to make a Krabby Patty. This forces SpongeBob to retire from his job or occupation at the Krusty Krab. However, after some good old training, SpongeBob gets back to his work and proves that he is absolutely the best fry cook in all of Bikini Bottom. Now, while SpongeBob is the perfect fry cook, the episode itself is not perfect, as when Bubble Bass says, you lose, Incidental 5 is missing something that's pretty important. Yeah, he's missing his mouth. Also during this scene, there's another mistake as Krabby Patty is incorrectly spelt on the Galley Grub menu, with it being spelt as P-A-T-T-I-E, when it, yeah, it's not supposed to be spelt like that, so yeah. Here's a clip of both mistakes with audio. You forgot the pickles! <gasps> no! The best there is? I don't think so, you... News. <laughs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab. My name is Squidward. Can I take your order? Hmm. Uh. Oh, I'll have a. Uh... No. In the episode Squid on Strike, Squidward and SpongeBob go on strike, a labor strike, and this is all because Mr. Krabs is trying to force the pair to pay some unfair fees. Well, as you can imagine, being the greedy crab that he is, Mr. Krabs fires SpongeBob and Squidward due to their strike, and this leaves them unemployed. Now during this scene, taking place outside of the Krusty Krab, Squidward tells SpongeBob that if he listens to him, they'll get their jobs back. And as Squidward says this, SpongeBob is incorrectly drawn with one tooth, when he normally is seen with two. It isn't that big of a deal, but it's definitely a mistake. <clears throat> Sorry. 
Just do exactly as I say, SpongeBob, and in no time, you will have your job back and more. And more? The Season 12 episode, Insecurity Guards, has some cheeky mistakes. This episode is all about a painting by Squidward that has to be presented to a very high class and snobby art critic. At first, things go swimmingly for Squidward. That is, until the art critic insults Squidward's painting. Poor Squidward. Well, in response, Squidward gives the art critic some insults of his own thus getting himself kicked out. It's hilarious. Now during this scene, there is a very subtle mistake that you may not notice at first, and I can't blame you as it's easy to miss. If you look closely at the art critic, you can see that his eyes magically disappear for about a split second or so. They do come back immediately after, but damn, does it look weird while they're gone. Here's a clip. Well. What do you think? Do you love it? Mr. Tentacles, I simply cannot express my true feelings about your work. Yes, I realize my artistic brilliance can be overwhelming. Quite frankly, it stinks! Our first mistake can be found in the episode Hooky. So this episode is fairly deep, as it's meant to teach you a lesson about lying. In this episode, hooks have begun popping up across Bikini Bottom, and though Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob to stay away from them, he doesn't really listen. Now in the end, Spongebob's refusal to listen results in him getting embarrassed when a hook rips off his pants, thus resulting in Pearl and all of her friends laughing at him. Poor Spongebob, but hey, if he just listened, it would have never happened. Onto the mistake though. At the very beginning of the episode, we see Spongebob slide around the Krusty Krab. However, if you pause just as he comes into frame, one of his eyes are missing. It's really weird. Here's a clip with audio. Fishermen have quite an effect on our undersea friends. SpongeBob, have you finished swabbing the deck? Almost. There's a nasty barnacle under table nine. They're back! They're back, I tell you! I saw them with my own eyes! Oh, this is very the hooks! The hooks! How about a man? Our last mistake can be found in one of my favorite episodes, Sailor Mouth. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick start using some sentence-enhancing spicy swear words until their foul language ends up driving out the Krusty Krab customers. They get threatened by Mr. Krabs to not use that kind of language, namely bad word number 11 of the 13 bad words never to be used. Now in the end, SpongeBob and Patrick just cannot help themselves, but if we head over to this scene, we can spot a mistake. The Help Wanted sign first appeared in SpongeBob Episode 1 and only appears whenever SpongeBob and Squidward has been fired. In Sailor Mouth, neither SpongeBob and Squidward are fired, so its appearance during this scene is another blatant mistake. Here's a clip. Hello, customers! Nice day we're having, huh? <gasps> Did he just say, I, he did? Hey Patrick, how the are ya? When a new toy called Whirly Brains takes over Bikini Bottom in the episode appropriately titled Whirly Brains, SpongeBob and Patrick decide to join in on the new fad and use their new toy to spy on other Bikini Bottom residents, including Squidward. Things get tricky though, when an old evil man begins to steal people's whirly brains, and this causes SpongeBob and Patrick to literally lose their minds. Don't worry though, as by the end of the episode, Sandy comes in clutch and saves the day. But let's actually head back to this scene for a little goof. I know you missed it. Just before Sandy enters the old man's yard, we can see a sign that reads trespassing, but the spelling is actually incorrect as it adds an extra S to the word. Here's a clip. And it looks like you're not the only critters around these parts to lose your minds. Hmm, and my detector is leading us directly to... That house. Excuse me, kind sir. Our first mistake can be found in the episode Insecurity Guards, 
We've covered this episode a few times before, but don't worry, this mistake is a new one. In this episode, Patrick gets a job as a security guard at the Bikini Bottom Museum of Everything and recruits SpongeBob as his assistant. Meanwhile, Squidward attempts to sneak in and hang his painting up. Now, I actually don't want to spoil this episode because it's actually pretty good and the twist is pretty cool. So let's just get right to the mistake. It takes place during this scene. During one of SpongeBob's animations, both his sleeves and his teeth turn yellow, which looks pretty weird. I hope you're okay, SpongeBob. Here's a clip. That what are you doing here? Patrick is the museum's new security guard, and he's given me a tour. In the episode Love That Squid, Squidward meets another female squid named Squilvia and falls madly in love with her. Squidward eventually asks her out on a date, but due to Squidward being a nervous mess, he ends up doing some sort of practice date with SpongeBob to help get himself prepared. Now if we fast forward to the ending of the episode, everything works out, and Squidward goes on his date with Squilvia. But let's go back a little. We can find a mistake. I know you missed it. Watch closely during this shot of Squilvia entering the Krusty Krab. If you look closely, we can see Incidental 64 and Incidental 37B sitting together. However, literally seconds later, and they have magically changed places and are sitting at completely different tables. This happens in like seconds, so this was definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. That'll make me feel better. <gasps> Who is that? She's gaga gaga. She's gaga 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 gaga. She's wow. Finally, some service around here. When SpongeBob creates a puppet version of Squidward that's less grumpy and a lot of people like a whole lot more than the real Squidward, this frustrates the real Squidward and gives us the episode Squidward. Now to be real with you guys, there isn't a whole bunch of mistakes in this episode, so I'm going to keep this plot summary short. But when a close-up of Mini Squidward playing the clarinet is shown, one side of SpongeBob's shirt is incorrectly colored as yellow when as most of you know, it should be white. Oh, also during this scene, where Squidward gets angry at Mini Squidward, incidental 92 skin is purple. Every other time we've seen this character, he's been green, so this was another weird mistake. In the season 2 episode, Imitation Krabs, Plankton builds a robot, imitating Mr. Krabs to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula, as always. However, while infiltrating the Krusty Krab, this proves to be easier said than done. Now in the end, Spongebob saves the day by inserting a penny into the self-destruct slot on the robot imitated Mr. Krabs, which then self-destructs the robot and ruins Plankton's plan. A great ending. However, what isn't so great is this mistake. As Spongebob enters this room and is met with some lighting, one of his eyes turns, well, black. I guess grayish, like dark gray, but it's black. We've seen this type of mistake many times in the past, but damn does it look weird here. Here's a clip, guys. Hey, why don't you take the rest of the day off? <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Krabs. Oh, sweet domination. This is it. No sign of plankton yet. Gosh, Mr. Krabs, you don't look so good. Ooh, you're so cold. Season 12's Gary's Got Legs follows SpongeBob's favorite pet snail, Gary. The episode opens up with SpongeBob and Gary exercising. 
SpongeBob realizes as they get into the workout that Gary cannot fully participate and looks for a solution without legs. Being an excellent owner, SpongeBob rips off his own legs to give Gary the chance to run. Now, I don't want to spoil what happens next, as it's actually a pretty decent season 12 episode, so instead, let's get right into the mistake. I mean, it's why you click the video after all. It happens quick, but as SpongeBob gets ran over by Gary driving a tank, there is a brief frame where SpongeBob's shirt, which is supposed to be white at this time, turns to the same color as the tank, like a darkish green. Here's a clip. Hey, now you're moving! The episode Super Evil Aquatic Villain Team Up Is Go, Plankton teams up with Man Ray to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. What a shocker. Well, this plan goes poorly and backfires when Man Ray becomes addicted to Krabby Patties. You can't blame him. <laughs> As you can probably tell from the little summary I just provided, it's a fun episode, but of course it has a hidden mistake. During this scene, where Mr. Krabs is introduced to Man Ray, there are numerous shots where the path to the chum bucket is missing, when it should be directly across from the Krusty Krab as seen in previous episodes. Here's a clip. But before you toss me out like yesterday's garbage, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Come on out, partner. Partner? That's the silliest thing you've ever- <laughs> ah, ah, ah! I want you to say hello to my new partner and your new overlord, Man Ray. Hello. Our last mistake can be found in the episode Buried in Time. This episode sees the Krusty Krab start up its very own time capsule out of the old tartar sauce container. And just as it's about to go into the ground, Mr. Krabs announces that he's going to make his own contribution, a copy of the coveted Krabby Patty secret formula. Plankton sees this and begins to fantasize about customers munching Krabby Patties at the Chum Bucket. And if you look closely, one of the customers is Harold. Look closely. As you can see, he's sucking away at his drink, but his straw is definitely not actually inside of his mouth, making for a very weird air. But before we do, I'd like to make a contribution of my own, a copy of the Krabby Patty formula. There it is! The one element that can turn this lonesome bucket of steel into a bustling... ...world-famous eatery! <laughs> one of my favorite episodes of Spongebob is the parody episode where they make fun of fast food training videos, titled Krusty Krab Training Video. It's fairly short, so I'd say we skip the plot summary and just get right into the spicy mistake. In the first exterior shot of the Krusty Krab, there is a small error that Nickelodeon awkwardly missed, as there appears to be two enter signs, when, as you know, there's only supposed to be one. Here's a clip. Welcome aboard. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You've recently been hired by the Krusty Krab huh? Restaurant, and this is your first official day of training. Our next mistake can be found in another Season 11 episode, titled Surf in Turf. This episode is all about Sandy entering a ship in a bottle contest. However, due to her struggling to make one that doesn't just break, she enlists the help of SpongeBob and eventually Mr. Krabs, who agree to help as long as the prize money is split 50-50. Now it takes a bunch of failed attempts, but as you can imagine, by the end of the episode, the gang gets the job done, and Mr. Krabs tries to steal the prize money. But let's head over to this scene for a mistake. It's why you click the video. It is a little inappropriate, but during this scene, there is a single frame where Sandy's bra just disappears. Yeah, this one is pretty bad considering it's like a kid show that airs on Nickelodeon, but it only happens for a frame, so. But yeah, here's a clip with audio. Let's go, you bag of shells! I'll 
want you jumping like hot grease on a skillet. Sorry, Miss Cheeks. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Oh, dear. <laughs> In the season two episode, Clams, Mr. Krabs earns his millionth dollar, and this is a very big deal for him. So he decides to give back to SpongeBob and Squidward by taking them on a fishing trip to go and catch clams for the weekend. Unfortunately for Mr. Krabs though, SpongeBob ends up losing Mr. Krabs' dollar for him when he accidentally hooks it to his fishing line and ends up feeding it to, well, a giant clam. From here, the episode focuses on Mr. Krabs' obsession to find his lost dollar. And if we head back to this scene, the animators made a tiny mistake, as for the entire episode, the ship looked like this. However, during the last shot of the episode, the ship is just like changed and now looks like this and is equipped with a bowsprit. This bowsprit was not on the boat before, so I don't know why it's there now. It's a subtle mistake, but it's a mistake. I can't believe it, Mr. Krabs. Where are we going? Fancy Springs? No. Pamper Island? Try again. Oh, oh, old Bikini Bottom Folk Village? Better than that. Clam fishing. This is the reward we get for all our hard work. Fishing for stinky clams in a smelly old boat on a filthy lagoon. You call this fun? Have you boys met? Me million dollar! Wow, how'd you get it back? It wasn't easy. Oh, Blue Lips is quite the fighter. So eventually we settled on a trade. SpongeBob is a hard worker, but what would happen if he was forced to take a break? Well, that's the plot of the episode of Bummer Vacation with Spongebob being forced to take his vacation days, with Patrick, his best friend, coming in as a replacement, only temporarily though. This really bothers Spongebob though, and results in him trying to get back to work, sneaking back into the Krusty Krab. But Mr. Krabs isn't having it, and kicks him out every single time. Now in the end, Spongebob's break ends up ending before he even realizes it, due to him spending so much time trying to get back to work. But let's go back to this scene for a mistake. During this scene, where a depressed SpongeBob is home alone, there is a brief frame where some really weird stuff goes on with his eyes. It's just odd. Look at it. These types of mistakes happen every once in a while, but boy, is it weird. Here's a clip. I'm on vacation, Gary. I'm not allowed to go to work. <laughs> has receded. Mr. Krabs said I couldn't work at the Krusty Krab. He didn't say I couldn't eat there. This is my ticket back inside. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Demolition Doofus. This episode is all about SpongeBob accidentally injuring Mrs. Puff real bad. So to get back at him, she pretty much attempts to have him killed, with her convincing the poor sponge to compete in a rigorous boating derby full of crazy fish. To our surprise though, SpongeBob is shockingly very skilled at the derby and beats almost all of the other competitors. This only upsets Mrs. Puff even more though, with her taking matters into her own hands and joining in to get the job done herself. Now the mistake in question can be found during this scene, where Cruncher drives away from SpongeBob. Throughout the episode, Cruncher has back fins. However, during this shot, the Cruncher's back fins are just missing, thus making for a subtle continuity error. Our first mistake can be found in the very recent episode of The Patrick Show, Pearl Wants to Be a Star. In this episode, Squidina invites everyone's favorite whale, Pearl, onto The Patrick Star Show to put on a little performance, but things do not go very well for her the first time around, with her completely botching her act and hurting herself with sea urchin. Eventually, she tries again, only to fail yet again. 
However, it's her third attempt where she finally gets it right, thus ending the episode on a happy note. Now, the mistake in question takes place during the episode's intro. But as Pearl runs around frantically, there is a single frame where Pearl's sleeves to her shirt turn transparent. It's pretty weird. Here's a clip. Pearl, what's taking so long? <gasps> oh, I can't decide. Which two do? Orange or green? Okay, both. <laughs> Swallowing swords. <laughs> If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, then you know that one of SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite places to go is Glove World, a entire amusement park that's all about gloves. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Well, unfortunately for SpongeBob and Patrick, in the episode Glove World R.I.P., Glove World is actually going to close down. As you can imagine, this causes SpongeBob and Patrick to panic. But don't worry, in the end, everything works out, and Glove World doesn't close, thank goodness. But, but if we fast forward to this scene, there's a subtle mistake, as there seems to be two Nat Petersons when there should only be one. One can be seen talking to an anchovy, and one can be seen holding balloons. Here's a clip. I think the time has come for us to accept reality. Well, I've gone this far, why start now? All I'm saying is... Maybe there's a reason Glove World is closing. I mean, just look around you. Open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Our first mistake can be found in the season 11 episode, Library Cards. This episode is pretty darn weird in terms of the plot, with Patrick becoming infatuated with reading to the point where he learns so much that his head and brain becomes too big. To combat this, he does the opposite and watches a dumb TV show to shrink his head back down to size. Now, the mistake in question takes place near the beginning of the episode, as the plank pathway normally seen between Squidward's house and the road is just missing, despite being visible in pretty much every other episode before it. It isn't a big deal, but it's definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. Huh? Who are you? What I do? Who are you? What I do? Oh. <laughs> When Squidward starts to become scared for his safety after nearly having his groceries stolen, he decides it's time for some self-defense and heads over to SpongeBob's place for some karate lessons. As most of you guys already know though, SpongeBob isn't actually very good at karate, so Squidward eventually gets some help from Sandy. From here, SpongeBob uses his new karate skills to beat up the thug using some cool new moves. But let's rewind back to this scene for a cheeky mistake. It's easy to miss, but when Squidward is watering Sandy's lawn, Sandy is missing her tail. It's pretty important. I don't know what's going on here, but it's missing, and boy does it look odd. Here's some clips with audio. All finished. Wow, this looks great. You missed the spot. <laughs> I reckon the yard is good and watered. In the episode Mustard O oh Mine, the Krusty Krab runs out of mustard. So, Mr. Krabs sends SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward to find, or well, I guess dig up some more. From here, the episode continues and is really good. But remember how I said the Krusty Krab ran out of mustard? Well, during this scene where Mr. Krabs asks SpongeBob if he's used up all of the mustard, there's actually a brand new tube of mustard like literally behind them, like right in the background. Yeah, here's a clip with audio. Let's see. Ketchup, mayonnaise, oh, mustard. Did you use up all me mustard? I
Oh, who gives a flying fish about mustard? Our first mistake can be found in the season 12 episode, The Dirty Bubble Returns. In this episode, as you can probably guess by the title, everyone's favorite evil supervillain, The Dirty Bubble, makes his big return to the series. However, things are a little different this time. After spending some time in jail, The Dirty Bubble has become a new man and is now known as the Clean Bubble. He takes up a dishwashing job at the Krusty Krab and tries to keep clean. But as you can imagine, by the end of the episode, this does not go very well. Now at one point in the episode, we can see a comic strip, and if you look closely, the animators forgot to give SpongeBob his belt. It isn't the biggest mistake ever, but hey, it's still a mistake. For weeks, SpongeBob worked with DB to stay clean and good. Okay, so this next one is really bad, so be prepared. When Squidward receives an invitation to a gallery opening, he struggles to find a friend to take with him. Fortunately, Squidward eventually befriends Larry the Lobster, and if we watch closely during this scene of them busking together, there is a really annoying mistake. As any true SpongeBob fan knows, Squidward's clarinet is black, right? Well, at one point of this scene, Squidward puts his clarinet in its case, and if you look closely, the animators incorrectly colored it as gold. It does eventually turn back to a black clarinet in the next scene, but this was a really embarrassing mistake by the art team if you ask me. Here's a clip. So we still on for the night? Seven ish? <sighs> I guess it's just you and me again. Yeah. What are you doing here? The season one episode, Naughty Nautical Neighbors, sees Squidward find a way to split up our favorite dynamic duo, SpongeBob and Patrick. And as you can imagine, things get pretty wild it's actually a little sad to watch at times. Now, if we head over to this scene, we can see SpongeBob blowing bubble messages back and forth with Patrick around the start of the episode. And if you look closely, there's something up with SpongeBob's socks, as the stripes normally seen at the top of his socks are just missing, they just, they just disappear. Another mistake occurs when SpongeBob catches Patrick and Squidward playing with bath toys. As SpongeBob gets upset, the sailboat flickers blue for about a second. It isn't that big of a deal, but boy, does it look odd. Yellow is ugly. Patrick, what are you talking about? What's the matter, Squidward, old buddy? <gasps> uh, <laughs> so this is what I find, huh? My best friend and my ex-best friend and rubber bath toys. Our next mistake can be found in the season 11 episode, My Leg. This episode is all about the incidental character Fred and the constant injuring of his poor leg. He's broken his leg numerous times throughout the show, but now that it's healed, SpongeBob makes it his number one priority to prevent Fred from ever breaking it again. Turns out though, Fred actually wants to return to the hospital due to him being attracted to one of the nurses. So from here, the episode focuses on Patrick and SpongeBob doing everything they can to hurt Fred's poor legs. In the end, they succeed, and the episode ends with Fred getting a little smooch. But let's head back a couple of scenes to chat about an error. During the scene where SpongeBob turns into a heart, a heart clips through Fred's body, and boy, does it look weird. Here's a clip. I know. I just miss being at the hospital. Why? Well, secretly. Ooh! I'm in love with a nurse. Oh, you're in love with a nurse! Ooh. Yes, Fred, I got an idea. Why don't we hurt your leg? Season 11's Bunny Hunt sees SpongeBob and Squidward deal with an evil sea bunny who constantly ravages Squidward's garden. 
Despite this, SpongeBob still thinks the little creature is cute, and decides to adopt him as his pet. Before this happens though, we see a shot of SpongeBob's house, which features a lovely picture of Gary. We've seen this picture plenty of times before, but after SpongeBob gets groceries, it magically transforms into a completely different picture. <laughs> Proof this whole house. In the season 9 episode, titled Yeti Krabs, Mr. Krabs manipulates SpongeBob into working harder by claiming and lying that there's an evil Yeti Crab that supposedly eats lazy employees. Turns out, this myth is actually true, and a Yeti Crab does show up, but by the end of the episode, we learn that it has nothing to do with lazy employees, and that the only reason the Yeti Crab is acting out is due to being hungry. Can't really blame him. During the same scene, we can spot a small mistake, as for a brief shot, Mr. Krabs' eyelashes are missing for a couple of seconds. It isn't that big of a deal, but it sure is a mistake. Here's a clip. No, I'm talking about the sound of a hungry customer. He doesn't want to eat us for being lazy. He wants to eat us because he's hungry. Fellas, leave this to me. <laughs> When Patrick decides to be a tour guide in season 11's No Pictures Please, things get pretty wild, with Patrick taking his one guest to all sorts of places. Now during the various shots of Patrick's tour, we see this shot of Spongebob's house, and if you look closely, you'll notice that something is missing. That's right, Squidward's house, which should be to the right of Spongebob's house, is completely missing. Another hidden mistake can be found later on in the episode during this scene. If you look amongst the giant crowd of Bikini Bottom residents, there are two incidental 48s, when there really should only be one. There aren't any other duplicate incidentals in this shot, so this was definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. We have begun our descent. Everyone, please gather all your belongings and follow me single file. Amazing! But I didn't take any pictures today. I don't even have a camera. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even here. The episode, No Weenies Allowed, is all about a new sailor's club in Bikini Bottom, the Salty Spittoon. This place is a very rough and sketchy establishment that only lets the toughest of the toughest fish in. Sandy has no problem getting in, however, Spongebob isn't so lucky. Now the mistake can be found closer to the beginning of the episode, so let's just get to it. When Sandy flings Spongebob into the air, there is a brief frame where the background is white between Spongebob's arm and his body. This is definitely a more subtle mistake, for sure, but it's still a mistake. So, yeah, here's a clip. I'm very Sandy. Oh, I get it. She's Sandy. That's her name. She's also covered in... Yes! Back in Texas, we call ice cream frozen cow juice. Excuse me for a sec. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. In the episode Krusty Towers, Mr. Krabs turns the Krusty Krab into a hotel and demands Squidward to do a bunch of ridiculous tasks so that the service feels premium to customers. This includes everything, from giving Patrick a bubble bath to carrying his bags up the stairs. Now eventually, Squidward quits and returns to the hotel, but this time, he's a customer, and this is where we can find our mistake. When we first see Squidward's room, it's number 1721. However, in a later scene, it's magically changed to 1722. Now of course, Squidward could have changed rooms, but there was no scene to show this, so I'm going to assume this was a little mistake. What do you guys think though? Leave a comment down below. Too bad we couldn't take the elevator, but it is for guests only, and you are 
an employee. Your room, sir. And I'd like to order room service. I'd like a Krabby Patty with cheese, toenail clippings, and nose hairs. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me! What is it, Squidward? Send up a dozen cookies just like Mother used to make. Here's your homemade cookies. <laughs> These don't taste anything like Mom used to make. Well, how did your mother make them? How should I know? Ask my mother. 